Hello, elementary students. We are so excited to have you back at school. I'm here today to talk with you about some important health and safety information so you can stay as safe and healthy as possible when you're at school. First, I want to talk to you about face coverings. They help protect you and the people around you from spreading germs, like the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. Everyone must wear a face covering at school. You can remove your mask for eating inside. Face coverings must cover the nose, mouth, chin, and sides of your face. And do not share or swap your face covering with anyone else. Try to avoid touching or messing with it too. If you need a face covering, let your teacher know they can get you a new one. And remember, just like underwear, you should wear a clean face covering every day. It's important to wear cloth face coverings when you're out in public and around people who don't live in your household. Face coverings act as a barrier to help slow or reduce the spread of COVID-19. Check with your school for information on face covering policies. Wash your hands before putting on your face covering. Put it over your nose and mouth and secure it under your chin. Fit it snugly against the sides of your face, but make sure you can breathe easily. Don't put the face covering around your neck or on your forehead and don't touch it. If you do, wash your hands. Never share or swap face coverings. When you get home, carefully take off your face covering by stretching the ear loops or untying the strings behind your head. Fold the outside corners together and put it aside for washing. Then wash your hands. Cloth face coverings should be washed and dried after use each day. Label your face covering with your name or initials. Bring a backup in case it's needed. In addition to wearing cloth face coverings, remember to follow everyday healthy habits. Wash your hands often, stay six feet away from others, and stay home if you're sick. If you have any questions about wearing a face covering at school, contact your school nurse, a trusted resource for students, parents, and staff. Let's review what we learned. True or false? It's okay to share your face covering with a friend. False, it is important to not share or swap face coverings. True or false, it's important to wash your cloth face covering after use each day, label it with your name, and bring a backup to school just in case you need it. Hmm. True. Hand washing is one of the best ways to prevent the spread of germs, including the germs that cause COVID-19. So let's review how to wash our hands the right way. Washing your hands is easy, and it's one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of germs. Wet your hands with clean running water. It can be warm or cold, and apply soap. Lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Wash the fronts and backs, wrists, between your fingers, and under your nails. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. You can sing the ABC song once, or the Happy Birthday song twice. Rinse your hands well under running water, and then dry them with a clean towel, or air dry them. Turn off the faucet with a towel. If soap and water aren't available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Apply the sanitizer and rub your hands together until they're dry. This should take about 20 seconds. Wash your hands before you eat or touch your face. And after you use the restroom, go outside, blow your nose, cough or sneeze, or touch your face covering. Remember to follow everyday healthy habits. Wear a cloth face covering, stay six feet away from others, and stay home if you're sick. 
If you have any questions, contact your school nurse working on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic in schools. As the video mentioned, washing hands with soap and water gets rid of the germs by breaking apart the virus and rinsing it off your skin. Let's go over the steps for washing your hands with soap and water. Turn on the faucet and wet your hands under the faucet. The water can be cool or warm. Either temperature's fine. Get some soap. Rub the soap all over your hands for 20 seconds. Be sure to scrub the fronts and backs of your hands, your wrists, between your fingers, and under your fingernails. Count to 20 or sing the birthday song twice to make sure you scrub for the right amount of time. Rinse all the soap off of your hands under the water and then grab a paper towel and dry your hands. You can use the paper towel to turn off the faucet too. Hand sanitizer works by killing the germs on your hands. To clean your hands with hand sanitizer, number one, if you're younger than nine years old, make sure there's an adult around who knows you are using hand sanitizer. Then squirt hand sanitizer into the palm of your hands and rub your hands together. Rub the hand sanitizer all over all of the surfaces of your hands, including the fronts, backs, wrists, and between your fingers. Rub the sanitizer in until it's completely dry. This usually takes about 20 seconds. It's important for you to wash your hands every day before you leave for school and when you get home from school. When you are at school, you must wash your hands with soap and water before eating, using the restroom, and when your hands are visibly dirty. You'll also need to either wash with soap and water or use hand sanitizer when you come into and leave a classroom, when your teacher tells you to, before and after touching your face covering, and after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. Speaking of coughing, sneezing, and blowing your nose, the germs that cause COVID-19 travel in the tiny drops that fly from our nose and mouth when we talk, cough, sneeze, or breathe. The drops travel through the air onto other people. That's why it's important to be careful when you need to cough, sneeze, or blow your nose. Let's watch. <coughs> So what parts of your hands are important to scrub when washing your hands? Fronts and backs, under your nails, between your fingers, wrists, or all of the parts listed above. That's right, all of the parts listed above. True or false, it's okay to cough or sneeze on your friend. False. 
keep your germs to yourself by turning away and coughing and sneezing into your elbow or a tissue. Then wash your hands. One more important thing to do to keep everyone safe and healthy is to stay home from school when you are sick. Every morning before school, your parent, guardian, or a family member will check you for symptoms and see if you have a fever. However, sometimes people start to feel sick when they're already at school. If you start to feel sick when you're at school, just let your teacher know. Your teacher will give you a new paper mask to put on over your face covering and let the office know so they can call your parent or emergency contact to come pick you up from school. Let's watch a video about the symptoms of COVID-19 and staying home when you're sick. If you're sick or think you might have COVID-19, it's important to stay home and away from other people. Some of the symptoms to watch for are cough, fever, sore throat, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of smell or taste, headache, tiredness, and muscle pain. Most people with COVID-19 have mild illness and can recover at home without medical care. Manage your symptoms by getting rest and drinking plenty of fluids. Cover your coughs and sneezes with a tissue. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. As much as you can, stay in a specific room away from others who live with you. Avoid sharing things like towels and dishes. Stay aware of how you feel. Contact your health care provider if you're worried about your health. Call 911 if you're having difficulty breathing, staying awake, chest pain, or blue lips. When can you go back to school? That depends on different factors. Check with your school to find out specific policies. If you had close contact with a person who has COVID-19, you should also stay home or quarantine for 14 days and monitor your health. If you have any questions, contact your school nurse, the healthcare expert at your school. What are some of the signs and symptoms of COVID-19? Cough, sore throat, headache, muscle pain, purple hair, fever, tiredness, singing like an opera singer, diarrhea, throwing up or vomiting, growing two feet taller, and loss of smell or taste. That's right, cough, sore throat, headache, muscle pain, fever, tiredness, diarrhea, throwing up or vomiting, and new loss of smell or taste. True or false, if you start to feel sick at school, you should tell a teacher. True, sometimes we feel fine before school, but then we start to feel sick at school. It's okay, your teacher will know how to help. Testing is an important way to keep your friends and family safer and healthier. Testing is quick and painless. It can feel like a tickle in your nose. Your school nurse can help by testing you or telling your family where to go to get tested if you feel sick. The school also has weekly testing for people who do not feel sick. This can help identify people who don't feel bad, but have the virus and can spread it. And lastly, there may be a vaccine for kids soon. Vaccines help everyone stay safer. Thank you so much for helping keep everyone as safe and healthy as possible as we return to campus. Ask your teacher or school nurse if you have any questions.